Hello and welcome to your number one favorite Christian channel, Paradigm Christian TV, where we'll bring to you motivational messages, sermons, preachings, praise and worship of Christian gatherings, pastors, apostles, and men of God. I pray that whichever of the videos you watch on this channel, that it meets you at your point of need, it impacts in your life one way or another. It speaks to you where you need to be spoken to. Don't forget to subscribe, press the notification button, and um, like the video. Also invite your friends, colleagues to be a member of this wonderful community so that you will be notified whenever we put in a new video on this channel. There are times you're going through a critical time or critical condition, be it medical condition, financial condition, or, or family crisis, whatever it is, you can plant a special seed, special seed for a harvest of a miracle. Your seed is anything you do that helps another. It's not just giving money. It, it's more or less like when we help people in various ways. In fact, the, your kind words are seeds. Your encouragement to a friend is a seed. Standing by somebody who is desperately in need is a seed. Amen. Being patient with people is a seed. Our life on a daily basis is a seed. We cast seed on a daily basis. How we respond to people, how we treat people, how we perceive people, how we react, how we respond to things, they are seeds. So on a daily basis, we sow seeds. So don't forget that today you've sown lots of seeds and there is a harvest for you. Some of you are saying, hey, amen. You shouldn't be saying Holy Ghost fire. You should be... You should be thinking, what kind of seed did I sow today? How did I behave today? What did I, how did I respond to someone? Jesus says, that which you want others to do to you, do it to another. In other words, how we treat others bounces back to us. Whatever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. The Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. So I am careful how I treat people, very careful. In, in fact, sometimes I go so low with the way I handle any situation as a pastor because I want to make sure that that's how I want God to treat me. That is the dividends that I want to get in the future. You don't have to hate your hearers. If you hate a hater, you have cast hate, you have sown hate, and you're going to reap hate in the future. You don't have to hate someone because that person hates you. The hater will reap, will reap hatred. You must understand that people are responsible for what they do. There is a law of the universe. It is a, the law of karma, the law of nemesis, or the Bible calls it the law of seed and harvest. Whatsoever a man soweth that he shall reap. Peter, put back your sword, for he that killeth by sword shall die by sword. It is a law of the universe. It has nothing to do with Christianity. It has nothing to do with Bible. It is a law of the universe. So when people gossip with your name, don't gossip with your names. Because those that gossip with your name, with your names, will reap gossips in their generations. They will never have peace. Gossip will keep coming against them on a daily basis. They will go through what they are doing to you. There is always a day of, of reward, a day of a recompense. And we must all learn to follow the word of God. The Bible says, forgive them that have hurt you. Be gracious to them that are evil. The Bible says, if you're slapped here, give the other side. You know why? Because whatsoever man sows, that he shall also reap.
When you forgive your enemies, you've increased the account of mercy and forgiveness. When you forgive, you increase mercy in your life. When you're kind, you increase the fruit of kindness in your life. When you're gracious, you increase grace. And you, are you hearing me, sons of God? What you give is what you reap. Come on, sons of God. What you give is what you reap. What you give is what you reap. These are kingdom principles. Sometimes our seed might be information, encouragement, or even finances, okay? Whatever it is, your seed is always your door out of trouble. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, my seed is always my door out of troubles. Job sold a prayer of deliverance for his three friends. Then God turned Job's captivity around. David stopped a tragedy by offering a special offering to the Lord. When you let go of what is in your hand, God will let go of what is in his hand. Hand. And David built there an altar unto the Lord and offered burnt offerings and peace offerings. So the Lord was entreated for the land and the plague was stayed from Israel. <laughs> was withdrawn. It was, I'm telling you, because of an action of a man, a man did something that provoked the Lord to withdraw a plague from Israel. Can I hear him to that sons of God? Sometimes the reason why you are going through what you're going through is as though what you're going through has lingered is because you, there are some things you're not doing. Find a principle to activate, to provoke the miracle that you want in your life. Every natural Listen to this, every physical difficulty is a function of some kind of deficiency in the spirit. Physical activities reflect to us the state of our spirituality. You can undo, you can unturn, you can turn around, you can change any situation in the physical by discovering the right keys in the spirit to unlock the miracles required for that circumstance. We are men of the spirit. We know that. And this is the privilege that we have in Christ. The Bible calls it the heritage of, of the righteous. You must understand that there's a heritage of the righteous. There are rights and privileges that we have in Christ. There's so much keys that God had entrusted in our hands in order to unlock dimensions of miraculous Jesus said to Peter, I give unto you keys. Remember, he that has the keys, unlock the doors. God is not with the keys. The keys are with the church. And these keys are the principles of the word of God. In other words, our sacrifice of praise, our sacrifice of, of worship, our, our sacrifice of giving and sit sowing go a long way to provoke a certain manifestations. That's the end of the message. I hope you gained something from the message. I hope it has imparted in your life. Don't forget, God loves you no matter the situation you're going through right now. God cares about you. God is totally concerned about you. God's love for you is unconditional. I pray that as you go out, that the blessings of the Lord will manifest in your life. That with whatever step you take, the Lord is stepping with you into a better life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel.